Hello, hi guys, it's Inamica4 here with the Samsung Galaxy S5. We're going to take a look at how easily we can unroot this device and go back to the Android operating system that we had out of the box when we purchased it, being KitKat version 4.4.2. I am running a custom ROM at the moment and this process does come in handy if, like me, you've been flashing your device and you've had enough and you want to go back to the standard experience. You can see the model number here is SM-G900F Android version 4.4.2 because this ROM is based on KitKat and if I scroll down some more you can see the ROM name is Echo ROM and you've got the developers mentioned down below. I just want to point out that neither myself, Samsung or Google take any responsibility for anything that may go wrong during this process or if you completely brick your handset. So do proceed at your own risk and as always make sure you've got a backup of all the important data because this process will wipe your handset completely clean. So if you haven't yet enabled developer options make sure you hit build number seven times from about device just so that you can see the option when you go back a step here and if we scroll down we should be able to see developer options there it is and what we'll do is make sure there's a tick next to usb debugging and accept the prompt on the screen obviously this process will increase your flash counter as well as your nox counter so if you want to reset your flash counter now's the time to use triangle away to reset it the nox counter unfortunately cannot be reset and obviously no need to mention that your warranty is already void up next we now need to power the device off and then get into download mode so once the handset is off we need to press volume down power and the home button simultaneously until we get into the download mode and then we'll need to press volume up to accept the message on the screen then plug in the handset into your computer whilst using the usb lead that came with it on the computer in the top right hand corner of the screen here i've got two icons the top one is for odin 3 and the bottom one here is the zipped firmware file for the s5 both the links to these files will be down in the description box Box below download the zip file and extract it to your desktop once it's finished extracting it'll give you the contents of the file and I'll just get rid of these windows and bring in the extracted folder just to show you and here's the file that it's extracted the one ending in .tar.md5 that's what we're going to flash our device with so I'm just going to close that down and load up Odin 3 hit run to any windows that appear and bring up Odin up here you've got the yellow com port lit up here on the left hand side you may also have a blue one depending on what version of odin that you're running but either way it needs to be lit up so if it's not lit up that means there's a communication problem between your phone and your computer so it may be worth trying a different usb cable maybe a different port on your computer possibly one at the back of the computer as well as removing the drivers and reinstalling them fresh from the samsung website but once you've got the com port lit up here you're ready to rock put a tick next Next to PDA here and select the file that you want to flash so go to your desktop where you extracted that file locate it and hit open what we're going to do here is remove the tick from where it says auto reboot because we don't want it to automatically reboot so take the tick out here and then hit start it does a quick check here and it will start flashing the device Odin's finished and it's given us a green pass so we can close this down and remove the handset from the computer now remember we set it so it didn't reboot automatically so what we're going to do is press the power button until the device switches off and then we're going to press the volume up power and the home button simultaneously so the device can get into the recovery console so the device is now off we'll press all three buttons down until it gets to the recovery console then we can let go of all three buttons and finally the first thing that we need to do is go down using the volume up and down buttons to wipe cache partition press the power button as a selection it quickly does what it needs to do down here and then the other thing that we need to do is wipe data factory reset using the power button as a selection there so we'll confirm it and it does what it needs to do down here it says formatting data and it shouldn't take too long there we go now we're ready to reboot the system so we press the power button and it should go through the motions finally into the operating system here and you can see it's already pulling down some updates so if we head on over into the settings here then go down to about device we should be able to see the model number is still the same android version 4.4.2 kitkat 
is now on this Galaxy S5. So that's how easily you can remove root and flash KitKat as it was out the box when you purchased your S5. As ever, any comments or questions you guys have got, hit them up in the comment section down below there. Give us a thumbs up if you liked this video and you like what you saw and if you found it informative, then please do give us a like. If you haven't yet done so, hit subscribe. It's just down there. It doesn't cost you a single penny and you can also check out some of our forthcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Have a wicked day and we'll see you next time.